Whoever does not miss the Soviet Union has no heart. Whoever wants it back has no brain. I have a private life in which I do not permit interference. It must be respected. Those who fight corruption should be clean themselves. Terrorism has no nationality or religion. My English is very bad. My personal position is that society must keep children safe. We shall fight against them, throw them in prisons, and destroy them. Everything will probably never be okay, but we have to try for it. I was brought up in a very ordinary family, in fact, a worker's family, both my father and mother were ordinary citizens. I don't read books by people who have betrayed the motherland. If you aspire to be a leader of your own country, you must speak your own language for God's sake. Russia and China are very natural partners. We are neighbors with an immense common border. I think the American people should express their preferences and we'll accept their choice. Politics should not interfere with sports, and sports should impact politics. The more intermediaries there are, the more problems there are. Politics should not interfere with sports, and sports should impact politics. We're no longer in the Cold War. Eavesdropping on friends is unacceptable. A war of words will allow more dialogue than what a war with bullets ever will. Atrocities are a way of life when you're human. Cowards will always commit war crimes. Sanctions haven't stopped the killings. They've only made the invaders more desperate to win. What will be your legacy to the world, the orphans that you have fathered in your name? As critics fall, one must wonder at the luck of those that they were so critical of. If aggression pays off, aggressors will take note. We don't need a weakened government, but a strong government that would take responsibility for the rights of the individual and care for the society as a whole. Whoever does not miss the Soviet Union has no heart. Whoever wants it back has no brain. The greatest satisfaction for me is to have overcome difficult moments and still to have retained the ability to work hard. To forgive the terrorists is up to God, but to send them there is up to me. Democracy cannot be exported to some other place. It must be homegrown. I've always been at peace with myself. I've always been at peace with myself. I've always been confident. I've always had a strong will. I've always tried to be independent. No one should have the right to usurp the prerogatives of the Almighty, the Holy Creator, has entrusted us with the gift of life and only He can take it away. It's better to be hanged for loyalty than rewarded for betrayal. We don't need a global empire. I don't need the Russian Orthodox Church telling me how to live my life. The Russian character is divided between Europe and Asia. Between Mongolia and Poland, it's split inside us. Russia needs a strong state power and must have it, but I am not. 
calling for totalitarianism. History proves that all dictatorships, all authoritarian forms of government are transient. Only democratic systems are not transient. Whatever the shortcomings, mankind has not devised anything superior. For Russia, there is not and there may not be another political option, but democracy. However, Russian democracy is not at all the realization of standards imposed on us from outside. The ability to compromise is not a diplomatic politeness toward a partner, but rather taking into account and respecting your partner's legitimate interests. I believe that the presidential term should be limited. Economic activity is moving from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Russia has a certain natural advantage because it also borders the Pacific Ocean. One has to be insincere and promise something which you cannot fulfill. So you either have to be a fool who does not understand what you are promising or deliberately be lying. The weak are beaten and the winners go on to forge their own world order. I have always reacted negatively to those who with their snotty noses and erotic fantasies prowl into others' lives. Bike is the most democratic transport vehicle. Bike is the most daring, challenging as it gives its owner the tempting feeling of freedom. That is why one can say without any exaggeration, bike is a symbol of freedom. There is no happiness in life there, is only a mirage on the horizon, so cherish that. To pay more is the easy way, in fact, the solution possibilities to the problem are many. I go to the gym, I swim daily, and from time to time I meet with friends and do extracurricular stuff. I think every person should have some faith inside him. In his heart, what matters is not an external display of this faith, but the inner state of the soul. Maybe they have nothing else to do in America but to talk about me.